Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, international new artist and educator here. Today I would like to show you something very exciting. Uh, it is a um, thing which I have done for the last couple of years on my nails. That's the nails which are painted underneath. Uh, even more, I've got some crystals underneath as well on my nails. Uh, so in this video I will quickly and shortly show you how to paint them so they last you nice and why we paint them as well. And also I can show you the front. That's on my uh, different videos. So you can search them on my channel and, and watch. Hope with the pleasure. To paint the nails underneath, we need to buff them a little bit. I'm going to use my cuticle bead um, and my e-file machine. So I put it up on the low settings. And then I'm going just to scratch the surface of the nails underneath. Uh, when painting the nails underneath, you have to make sure you paint first of all the underneath before you paint top, just because uh, uh, later on you may find that you have uh, touch up some places uh, with the product on top and this is visible, it doesn't look nice. So always be starting with underneath first and then we're doing the top. Just remove the dust and use the blue scrub to dehydrate uh, underneath. nice and clean dust free uh, i quite like to use the foils um, for any kind of product applications and i'm going to use this nice glitter i just show you what number it is okay so this is uh, shining diamonds 53721 from neo neo and then taking my fine liner brush this one is nice one. I will take the other one. Make sure you don't take your best brush because it's a glitter, so uh, you don't want to damage it. On this nail, you can see I've got really high hyponicin and I don't want to paint um, this on top of the skin. Uh, it's a living tissue, so I need to unfortunately avoid this area. I am applying it nice and thin with the nail brush. Move on into the next one. And here, because I don't have a high hyponychial, I can apply the glitter nice everywhere. Next one. It's better to do it in a two thin layers rather than one too thick and then you get some product which is maybe not properly cured or which wrinkles. So I'm applying always two layers. Oh, I've got some frogs in my stomach. <laughs> yeah, see, instead of having some food, I'm actually doing the videos for you. So I hope you appreciate that. And So that's the first layer painted. I can cure it. Of course, when you're putting the hand inside the lamp, you have to put it this way, not this way. I find it pretty funny for the clients when I paint their nails underneath and then I tell them to cure and they go straight away like this to the lamp. Uh, so yeah, uh, the fan you should do it separately just because of the position of it. It makes it pretty difficult to to cure it at the same time. I can paint the second layer now. Just to make sure you distribute the glitter nice and everywhere, so it looks almost like a diamonds. And that's the name of the gel polish. There we are. Tiny bit more in the corner here. A 
I'm just checking any other places. And of course, I have to show you also how I would stick the crystals uh, as well on those needles. And that's pretty interesting and something completely different. I'm crystal crazy. Yes, I am. So I'm wearing a big blink always on my needles. Um, okay, I can cure the second layer. 30 seconds cure. And then we can apply a crystals on those needles too. I think that will be really nice and interesting. I think, no, that's not the size I want. Yay, we will go for them. Uh, when painting the nails underneath, I prefer to use the no wipe top coat rather than uh, the top coat with the inhibition layer. And uh, the quickest way to apply it is to take the top coat, take it, the top coat brush, and then just apply it on. What else you can see, I'm actually painting the, um, the edges here as well. And I find it as a brilliant solution for those ladies which have got uh, needles, natural needles which are growing down the way because then I can use the drill to reshape them from underneath. And after that I will apply some glitter and I will seal the edges, uh, especially with those very curvy needles. Um, then uh, they are not separating from the needle enhancements or the clients which got very dry needles and they work too much in the water the needles tend to expand and then shrink when they dry so sometimes you can get the separation when they uh, constantly rebalance their needles and this is a perfect solution to make them look nice and fresh again uh, i can cure the top coat now and then the last step will be how to secure the crystals uh, I will do exactly the same way as I do with them on the top of my enhancements, uh, which means I need to have a buff surface. So what I will need to do is I will take my drill back on again. I can hear those brushes and it's pretty annoying because uh, they have been replaced just recently. Uh, so I think they maybe just need to lie correctly don't give those funny noises. Uh, what I need to do is I need to scratch my surface a little bit again. And then I will be able to stick the crystals. Remove the dust, do scrub it. And then stick the crystals on. For sticking the crystals on, I'm using the brush on Neil Glue from the Neil Perfect. And I will just do a nice straight line with my shaky hands. <laughs> and the second one, nice and straight line. And stick some crystals in. That is going to be a blink. I will do it only on my wing finger and the middle finger. Now, the thought how I'm going to remove those crystals, uh, I will just uh, paint them off with the cuticle nippers, the old one, and I've got pretty good ones, so which are a, a good size as well. So that's the crystals on. You can see how nice and blingy they are. Uh, once the glue is dry, I will go around uh, with the top coat. So I put a tiny bit of the top coat in here. I will apply it at, at the edges and the other side. 
make sure you don't apply the top coat on the crystals because then they're losing their shine and then my brush just around the crystals to secure them well and same on the other nail and then our last step will be just to cure it so it looks awesome just paint it underneath thanks for watching bye